Welcome to Blue Tick Monday, even though it's Wednesday. Uh, here we are sipping on another fucking Meller Yeller. Um, we figured that we'd uh, hook y'all up with some more cheap entertainment and because... Fuck them. <laughs> Cheers to you. Fuck. You don't even know what it is again. Yeah, yeah you'll, you'll never know what's in our fucking bag, buddy. Take you guess. Take you guess. Say something else. <laughs> But we're not going to be as unorganized as we were last time. Last time we were just giving you a little bit of insight onto what you can expect out of this channel this month. What are we talking about, Hilford? Well, we're talking about getting stoned. We're going to talk about getting stoned. Woo! If you don't like it, fuck you. If you don't like it, honestly, fuck you. If not, we're raising hell where the black top is. <laughs> you ever roll you up a big flat glizzy and think to yourself, hell, me and the boy will be able to take this down, no problem. It will be fine. We'll probably go shoot some hoops afterwards or toss the old foreskin. But then you're just suited out of your goddamn mind. <laughs> well, we've been there. A couple times. A couple times. Maybe about 50. Maybe about more than that. About 100. <coughs> you all right? <laughs> you're sitting there like, I don't care about nothing. <laughs> Thing is, we're Kentucky boys. We're blue tick hounds. They don't allow that pot here. Today the topic in hand is vapes. Say something else about it. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna talk about vapes a little bit. And uh, whenever you try to take them into your old school, man, I mean, you're gonna get suspended. Don't fucking do it. Yeah, don't do it, brothers. Ain't uh, we can't say much, man. How easy was it to hit your vape in school, to be honest? Man, I think sneaking in was the easiest, but hitting it. <clears throat> we had to go to a high school where you walk through the scanners metal detectors like yeah. east carter students have had to walk through scanners since 94 buddy or whatever fucking year it was. Yeah. i don't even remember close to that yeah yeah so yeah we had to sneak our vapes in we couldn't just walk in with them in our pocket or anything like that i mean granted i didn't have that problem i mean i i didn't have no nicotine addiction i mean i like hitting uh, it. i just i don't hit nicotine i'm a pot guy so yeah i snuck in my cart a handful of times but yeah you had to be real meticulous about trying to get them around those scanners yeah, well, they've changed the rules now, but back then I used to carry a little drawstring bag and I had a whole bunch of notebooks in there and I just threw it down in one of the notebooks and all they did was pull it open, flip through it, and that was it. Uh, so every morning after that, I'd get in the cafeteria, throw it in my boot or my pocket, uh, whichever. Did you ever have anybody, like, almost catch you with your vape or anybody, like, see you while you were hitting it and not give a crap? Oh, yeah, several times, several times. Yep, so, here. One time I went through the scanner and I had my vape in my shoe, my cart, you know, one of your old pins. And I walked through the scanner and it went off. But sometimes the scanners are super sensitive. So you have to take one of those wand things and scan you down and then they'll check what's in your shoes if they really care enough. But lucky for me, old Mr. W, he was nice enough <clears throat> to just be all like, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Because there were so many other people in line. He just wanted to get everybody out of there. Nobody really even took their time to check you. <clears throat> yeah. If there was a crowd, more than likely you were getting passed. But there was times where you went off and they like, all right, come here. And they would scan you a whole fucking body. And Mr. Teacher taught history. Love him. He was a hard ass whenever it came to checking you or whenever you went off in the scanner. Yeah. Whenever you went off in the scanner... He's going to do something. Yeah, for sure. He's going to find it, take it. And don't ever try to walk around with Chaw in your back pocket either. He'll see that dead cannon. He'll fucking... Just throw it in the boot. Ooh. Well, you may ask, how do we get started? Well, gentlemen, the jewel came out. One of my good friends just got a jewel. And he's like, dude, you got to try this. In my head, I'm like, I, I haven't, in, I've smoked probably five cigarettes, <laughs> and I ain't really interested in vape, but I'll try it, because it's my buddy, and he's vaping, you know, I thought it was kind of wild at the time, so I hit that thing about five, biggest buzz of my life, and buddy, that felt great, all right, those were popping around the time, sophomore year of high school, everybody remembers the flavors, I'm sure, um, mango, mint, uh, cream brulee, and, uh, Ugh. What else they have? Fucking, Shit, I'm blank. Uh, what was it that I hated? It was the... Uh, it was the mint, mango... Mango. I fucking yeah. hated the Crumble. mango. Dude. Every time I hit a mango, I... You don't know the other flavor. Drop it, because I can't think of it. Tobacco. Yeah. That's what it was. Menthol. Sickest I ever got off of a vape was in business class. Put my head down. Took a little nap for about two minutes. 
And I was like, oh man, I'm gonna puke. I started sweating, I got up, I went up to our sub, I immediately told her, I was like, I'm gonna throw up, I'll be right back. Took off, first stall, I mean, I ran down there, fucking <laughs> Old friend of ours comes up behind me, he's like, Kyle, man, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, man, I'm fine. I also hit 50, Nick. I was out in the parking lot, and he had it in the box mod, and that's, that was the game changer, the box mod of 50, Nick. That's, that's what, that's what I hit, yep. Um, he warned me about it, and I was like, dude, I, I hit my jewel all the time, what's the difference? I mean, I ripped the son of a bitch. Dude, I couldn't. Yeah. Uh-uh. He's like, easy now, and I'm just sitting there ripping it, exhale, and uh, keep in mind, I'm waiting for my Vokey bus, so vocational school. You pee uh, Hager? No, but as I'm walking towards the bus, I about pass out. Uh -huh. I had one of our good buddies help me on the bus, shout out to him, because he was scared he didn't know what to do. Thank you for that. Definitely about drop though. Uh, vision was going black. Was scared that I was going to drop and get in trouble. So yeah. If anything, stay away from the bank. Oh yeah. Things. Definitely stay away from it. Yeah, Bad I want to inhale water. That's great. Just smoke your cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hell, I hit that 50, Nick. I puked, ignorant. Out here from old G-Town. Have you a good laugh and watch a sip of brownie. Something else, ain't it? something else. Here we are. Round two of finishing old brown eye. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Can't get my mouth around the can without touching the bag. <laughs> Mm. Here we are, getting past the half empty mark. Mm. <laughs> so I can start drooling on the table. <laughs> I'm not a vape. Fuck off. So we're about half lit off this to here. Mm, might be a little stone too. We can do about it. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Because you're just sitting there laughing. We're stoned like a pack mule. <laughs> Yeah, something y'all don't know is I've always wanted a mule <laughs> out in the backyard. Say something about it. <laughs> Say something else. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. We're hornier than a goat. <laughs> well, hey, if we can get to 100 subscribers. Killing 20 shots. Me and old boy will kill a couple shots. And by 20, I mean five. The handful of comments that we've had, appreciate it. I yeah. mean, they all mean a lot. They're all inspiring. Should we check it or should we?